What up, leaguers? Welcome to the Spectacular Spoiler League. I'm the Pandan Superman, the mayor of Hype City, Hazy Rome. And as always, I'm joined by the Gotham Knight, the Prime Minister of Post-Production, Deep Voice. And today, today we are here for another episode of the Runaways Weekly One-Shot. Episode 5, Kingdom, aired this week. And me and Deep Voice are here to hit you with our top three character power rankings, as well as our top three bum-asses of the week. Deep Voice... Let's get right into it. Who was our number three in the top three power rankings for this week? Number three on our power rankings for this week is Alex Wilder. My man holding it down this week. Uh, obviously, did the best that he could. Because last week we were talking about how you know he was doing some rather questionable things by getting that gun in his possession. In his possession especially when these yeah. things were going down. I mean, listen, you get caught anywhere doing anything. Even taking the bus with a gun on you. That's it's big rap. trouble. <laughs> I mean, he went to school with the gun. That's like the worst thing you could possibly do. Yeah. He... But regardless, I mean, I guess he, again, did the best that he could. Saved his dad, even though that's kind of a moral trip right there. Mm. But towards the end of the episode, he's, you know, he, he took even more steps towards his possible love interest, Nico Minoru. Yeah. Holding it down. They had a moment. She was like, I'm with it. He was like, let's do it. But then, obviously, Carolina had to kind of mess it up with, uh, you know, with whatever it is that they had to do next in the episode. But yeah. maybe next episode, maybe the episode after that, hopefully off screen because these kids are underage. We don't need to be seeing that. But, hey, <laughs> shout outs to Alex. I mean, that's way more play than he got from Nico, from what I understand in the comics, in the Runaways comics. That's more play than he's ever got. Mm. Uh, but, you know... I also want to, you know, shout out Alex Wilder for standing up to his father, yeah. uh, Jeffrey Wilder, and sort of let him know, like, hey, man, like, you know, he got kidnapped by Jeffrey Wilder's, like, I guess we can call him his nemesis, uh, you know, Darius, an old yes. friend from the, from the past. And, you know, he sort of learned some secrets about his father in addition to, you know, uh, Alex sort of having a little bit of an understanding uh, as to what Jeffrey Wilder is doing with the pride. And, you know, he stood up to his pops and he was like, yo, man, you're not a good person. You're not a good dude. And, you know, I don't want to be around you. And I think yeah. that was that was necessary for him to say, given the conflict within. But that being said, we mentioned our number two already and talking about Alex Wilder. And our number two for this week is Nico stepping up and rallying the troops, like assembling all of the runaways to essentially save Alex's ass. Yeah. I mean, Nico stepped up hard. She stole, you know, the staff from her mother and... She used it to help get Alex back. She, you know, got Gert. She got Carolina. She got Molly. She got Chase on board. Everybody came through, and, you know, they were able to get the win. And I was like, you know, Nico, you know, she takes on a leadership role for the Runaways in the comics. And I was like, you know, this is this is us seeing a budding leader, uh, you know, uh, out there, you know, sort of halfway uh, in the season. You know, I, I think it's yeah. great for a character growth to see that. Also, kudos to her for Going for the guy she likes and Alex and getting something for her, you know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, Nico. I was like, all right, Nico. Do do what you got to do, sister. I mean, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. You know what hey, I'm saying? Man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Also, credit to Nico. Credit to Nico. She was the only one that had an effective attack against Darius. More on that later in this conversation. But she actually whipped out, you know, the, the shield. Yeah. Stopped the power, you know, stopped the bullets. She Actually neutralized cool. him she, in that yes, respect. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because my man emptied a whole clip into that into that, uh, <laughs> that shield and nothing, nothing, my man. My man thought he was Max Payne or something. In <laughs> Blasting off in slow motion. Yeah, he was getting his John Rambo on with all that. I was like, bro, that's, <laughs> you barking up the wrong tree, man. But anyway, Deep Boys, on to number one for this week. Who do we got as number one? Who do we got? Honestly, we don't even have a name for this man. Yeah. But... We know Yet. him as the character who previously did, played Doctor Doom in the yes. Fast Tastic Four movies way back in the day. He's simply known as the Mysterious Man. He's Carolina's father. It's heavily implied that he is. And he's also, I guess, uh, Leslie Dean's jump off since, <laughs> since the beginning of the series. He was the old, you know, he was the golden crust uh, dude in, you know, hold up on that bed that they Out were, I guess, looking doing. like a... Out there looking like a toaster strudel yeah. in that bed. 
Uh, and basically, they were doing these sacrifices for him. We still don't have all the information as to what was going on, but he was rejuvenated in this episode. Yeah. And, you know, whatever it was, whether the Pride knows about this or whatever is going on, he he at least is the one manipulating the one manipulating others, if that makes any sense. Yeah, and he yeah. Came, he, I mean, he came back, pride, he's rejuvenated, and he's about to get it in. Yeah, I mean, we don't know the full deal going with the, going on with the pride, but the reason why he's number one is because I mean, let's be honest, the all, every single member of the pride is there assembled to bring this dude back. Mm-hmm. You know, they do they jump through all these hoops to bring this guy back from from the brink of death. We're and you about know, hoops. These are some like. Flaming hoops. Oh, for real. Here, killing kids. Right. Because they're, these people aren't just, you know, random people out there who, you know, don't have anything going for them. You know, for lack of a better way to say it, most of them are living relatively, I mean, I think they're all living successful lives in their own way. So for yeah. them to be going out of their way to ruin it all, to throw it all away, throw it out, all, all out the window for, you know, to be serial killers, to bring this guy back, it must mean something. His power is felt. Uh, in this episode, uh, you know, regardless of, you know, us not even knowing his name. And the fact that he's Carolina, Carolina's father, I mean, there's definitely something at play here with him. And, you know, also, like you said, holding it down with Leslie Dean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout outs to Frank Dean over here getting cut. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you know. <laughs> it's getting he, raw it's deal. Cruel, it's a cruel world, man. It's a cruel world. And the mystery man is at number one, man. But Deep Boys. Yes, sir. It's time for the wiggity whack. Wacker than whack of this week, man. It's the top three bum asses. Hit us with number three. Start us off, man. Number three is Jeffrey Wilder. Alex mm. Wilder's dad. I mean, listen, he was put to the test in this episode. Yes. And really yes. and truly, his his arch nemesis, formerly his, his right hand man, Darius, was putting the heat on him yet again. Mm. Uh, and he didn't quite handle it in the best way he should have, particularly when he was... Attending more to this injured kid, Andre, because obviously he needed to sacrifice him, as opposed to his own son that was kidnapped twice yeah. on his watch. Yeah, it, it, it didn't make sense, man. I mean, the thing that annoyed me about it was, you know, <laughs> Darius, you know, has said, meet me at this spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jeffrey, he comes through. First of all, he comes in guns blazing with like some henchmen mm-hmm. to shoot this guy Darius down. I'm like, yo, your son is standing right there. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like anything can happen, man. Bullet could ricochet, and that would be a wrap for your son. All yeah. right. Then your son, you know, shoots. He shoots Andre. Uh, the, you know, the 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 kid who was working with Darius. He shoots him, and you know, uh, Darius takes Alex away. And you know, Jeffrey's like, oh man, that's my son going away. But yo, I gotta get this prize sacrifice. I see an opportunity here. Let me tend to this kid. And get him in the car so I can sacrifice him for the sake of the pride. Meanwhile, Darius is gone with your son. Yeah. And when Alex finally gets freed by his friends mm-hmm. and goes back to his father, his father's still there in the car with this, you know, tending to this guy, Andre, so he can go sacrifice him. I'm like, yo, yeah. dude, <laughs> your son is number one right now. And you're over here putting the pride over your son. And I was yeah. like, damn, that's a that's a bum ass moment if I ever seen one, man. And let's also be clear, it wasn't certain that this kid would be a proper sacrifice. I mean, when they brought right. him in, they're like, yeah, this, this kid is like almost dead. Yeah, Maybe. he was on his deathbed. He was dying. Yeah. Straight up dying, man. But anyway, man, we talked about Jeffrey Wilder. We talked about Darius. And it just so happens that Darius is number two on the bum ass list this week. <laughs> Listen, Deep Boys, man. But You're my why, boy. Hazy? You're- you're like family, Deep Boys. Yes. But if you ever ask me to spend 10 years in prison for you, I don't care what promises you making to take care of, of me, it ain't happening. This Hazy. guy, Darius, is like, oh, Jeffrey's like, hey, man, I could do something for us. I'll take care of yours. You know what I'm saying? We could move up together, but you got to do 10 <laughs> years in prison for me. I was like, Darius, say no. Darius took literally 35 seconds to think about it and was like, all right, man. <laughs> I trust you. I'm like, nah, that's... You're throwing away a decade? Hazy, he was down with the dog pound, man. He was down with the set. Listen, man. Like, Listen, he's in prison. He's definitely going to get some dog pound, bro. (laughs) If you know what I mean. Okay? Don't drop the soap, Darius. All right? He's going to be... I mean, he's got to be careful over the course of 10 years, man. That's that's a tough tough life, man. He's He's loyal, Hazy. He's down with the set, but I mean, yo, you... 
that that doesn't mean anything when you got 10 years in prison. I'm 27 right now. Mm. 10 years in prison means I'm coming out when I'm 37. That's a scary thought. Darius, you a bum ass, man. That's a terrible decision. <laughs> terrible, terrible decision. Which, I mean, to his credit, though, that I, that explains why he's so pissed off now. <laughs> but it's just kind of like, dude, you, you, you did it to yourself. Yeah. Okay? You did it to yourself. That's a, that was a bad deal, if I ever seen a bad deal. That's that's the worst of the worst, Deep Boys. Hmm. There's still really no excuse for that. Fair enough. But anyway, Deep Boys. Fair enough. I mean, what if they uh, you know had some Xboxes or something, some video games in prison for those 10 years? Bro, I don't... Nothing is going to beat the light of day. <laughs> Nothing's going to beat freedom, the fresh air, breeze. He, he gets, you know... Seeing some... He's got some yard... To, he gets time out in the yard. Talking to some honeys, man. <laughs> they can come visit. Living a free life, going out, get some drinks. You know what I'm saying? That, that, Get some home cooking, man. Come on, man. Ten years. Get out of here, Deep Boys. Hit us with number one, Deep Boys. Number I'm so one. upset at this dude. <laughs> number one, we're actually lumping in the entire crew. The entire Runaways <laughs> crew. Uh, particularly for a sequence they had when they were going up against Darius. The aforementioned Darius, who's number two in our bub masses for this week. When they were saving Alex Wilder and they had their quote-unquote Avengers moment where they were taking turns. <laughs> Runaways using their skills. <laughs> Runaways reunite. And I mean, at one point, you have uh, Chase fistagoning Darius. <laughs> and, that but, sounds so dirty. But Darius gets up after his fistagoning. <laughs> he's he's he wasn't fistagon. He was he wasn't gone at all. He was still there. Then you have Carolina <laughs> flashing him with the the Jubilee powers, and I don't know. Darius is out here. It looked like it was tickling him or something. Uh, it, it's or blinding him. It, it, it didn't affect uh, uh, Alex at all. He was standing right there, and he just walked past like it was no problem. And then obviously you had Marley Hernandez, uh, who takes this moment. I mean, you got a dude with two gats, two two pieces, two guns pointing at mm. these kids, and she's like, "Oh wow, this is cool. We all got superpowers." Yeah, I, it, it was it was intentionally corny. But I think the corniness was too corny for the moment. I'm like, yo, this guy has guns. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Molly goes to pick up the car. I'm like, you got super strength. Are you are you trying to find out if you're invulnerable too? Because you're about to have a bullet. <laughs> like, Darius is a bum ass for not firing until, you know, Nico put up the shield. I'm like, yo, you got a gun. Like, these are kids. I would have been like, yo, what are you guys doing? You're in my way. I'm a fire. You shoot him in the kneecap or something. You know what I'm maybe, saying? Darius? Maybe that's why he hesitated. Cause he's like, "Yo, I have to take down these kids right now. This this get, this day is is getting from weirder to even more weird." Bro, bro as soon as I got fistigan and got up, <laughs> I would have been popping off from long distance, bro. Popping and, off from long distance. That didn't even make that that sequence. That part of the sequence didn't even make sense. And, and you know what? He got, you know what also didn't make sense? Cause you know mm. Molly, she gets tired or whatever when she uses her powers. Yeah. So she uses her powers. Then she falls asleep on the hood of the car that's behind them. Then she gets up again. She's like, oh, I'm back. Let's go. <laughs> she just, and the, the way she went to fall asleep had me cracking up. Because I'm like, she like, it would have been more, like, I would have liked it better if she sort of just p- passed out or collapsed. Mm-hmm. But she went in, like, fetal position. She's like, assumed the nap position on the hood of the car. I'm well, like, go inside the car. I'll yeah. go to sleep. Better yet. <laughs> any sense. She, exactly. You should have been in the car. And then there was like, where's Molly? And they look inside the car with like the light is on. You see her in the back just snoring. With her head right. tilted back. I, I mean, you know. Probably would have been right. more effective and, and funnier, I guess. Yeah. A lot of that scene. Like, even when uh, Chase ran up and blasted Darius with the fistagons. Mm-hmm. You know, Nico was like, all right. And then you know, they slapped hands. <laughs> and he, he fistagon blasted himself and landed on the ground. That was funny. But the way it was shot looked kind of weird. Looked a little like funky. Looked a little bit too, uh, too. It was a kind of like blurry. Like you almost couldn't really see exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. And then literally two seconds later, Darius is up, and, like having experienced no side effects from getting blasted into some bushes. You know, he doesn't even have any like he's completely clean. Doesn't have any dirt on him, anything like that. Yeah. And he's like, "Yo, I'm I'm ready to shoot y'all up now." <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, come on. This, I was like, this is the scene. Just seemed very choppy. Didn't seem very fluid. Carol, Carolina, I'm like, you just learned what your powers are, that you have powers. How did she know to do that? Like, it's one thing if she just kind of did it instinctively, like, sort of as like, a, oh, get away from me thing. But she took off her brace, bracelet and then did it. And I was like, once again, like you said, I don't know if it was, was it a blinding situation? I guess they were being blinded. Um, and then, you know, that's when Alex sort of ran away. But I just felt like the sequence was just, uh, 
It was meant to be corny. Like, I get that. It was meant to be cheesy. It was meant to be uh, hammy. Mm. But it just... Something about it, the way it was shot, yeah. just seemed... Uh, just, it seemed sloppy. Yeah, I think it was the way it was kind of edited. I mean, I don't want to yeah. hear on the show because I've really been enjoying it. But that... Same. It kind of seemed like an SNL sequence or something. Like something out of <laughs> SNL. That's what it seemed like to me. Yeah, it definitely... The only dope part about it uh, was when Nico, you know, used the, the staff to... Uh, the staff of one to uh, to block the bullets. That actually looked really hot. Word. Um, but Darius emptied out like every single bullet. He emptied out the whole clip, and uh, then proceeded to run into the car. <laughs> His car after he realized, <laughs> after like eighty seven bullets, that this isn't working out. <laughs> uh, and shout out to Kevin Hart, everything. who was the chauffeur at first, but he he did the smart thing and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking up because that dude really did look like Kevin Hart in that scene. <laughs> there was like a moment where he was like, "Oh, I'm trying to drive away and I can't." I was like, "Yo, is that Kevin Hart?" Oh man, but uh, yep, that was that the the Runaways Assemble scene. I'm calling it bomb ass moment of the episode number one. But that being said, guys, what were your top three characters from this week of the Runaways? What were your top three? Who were your top three bomb asses this week? Let us know in the comments below, and by all means. Support the Spectacular Spoiler League by hitting the subscribe button and hitting that little bell icon to turn on notifications and be up to date with the latest and greatest coming from the Spectacular Spoiler League. Drop us a like on this video. Help this video get out here so we can recruit some runaways who can actually do an action scene the right way to Spectacular Spoiler League. Let's do it <laughs> up, y'all. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.